and girls, it is time for Writer's Workshop. You have been working very hard to come up with a problem that you want to solve and reasons on why your mom or dad should let you do what you are asking to do. Now is our time to start writing. We did the pre-work, which was getting our brains to think of all of those things. And now today we're going to get to start our writing. So you're going to need to find your persuasive writing book packets. And I know this one is spelled wrong. The ones you got were spelled correctly. So just ignore that. All right. There are two of them in there, I believe. Should look like this. I think yours both have yellow covers on it. Doesn't matter. Either one is fine. Okay. So the first thing we always do when we do new writing is write our name and the dates. And so I am going to ask you to get your, pause the video, get your persuasive writing packets, get your pencil, and also some colored pencils. We are not doing marker, colored pencil or crayon would be acceptable, okay? So pause the video, get those things, and then come back and join me. Okay, welcome back. I'm gonna remove this because it's hard to write on that. So, first thing you need to do is write your name, and um, that's going to go right up at the top. Ooh, that pencil isn't working so good. And then you're going to write the date. And today is May 5th. So, May is January, February, March, and April. May is the fifth month, so you're going to make a five dash five dash 20 and I'm going to show it to you so you can see. Okay. Five dash five dash 20. So that's what your date should look like. Awesome. I love that you're writing your name using your upper and lowercase letters and doing your handwriting without tears. So it looks beautiful. Okay. Now you notice in your writing that there is a small box and lots of lines and then on the back it's all lines and no box well guess what writers we are becoming better writers and so we don't need quite as much room for drawing and we need much more room for writing and today we are going to work on putting our problem and our reasons into a letter now we need to think about who we want to write this letter to okay so if your problem, one of the problems that one of the friends said, sent in is that they want to be able to pick up the cats, that the, the kitty cats that they have at home. So they're going to write their letter to their mom and their grandma. And so they would say, dear mom and grandma, <clears throat> if you are writing your letter to, <coughs> sorry, if you're writing your letter to your dad because you want to be able to drive the lawnmower, and, or your mom, because you want to be able to drive the lawnmower, maybe you need to ask both of them. Then it would say, dear mom and dad. Okay, so I'm writing my letter to Avelina because she needs to eat healthier, right? Remember, my problem was that she eats too many snacks during the day. So the first thing I want you to do on this very, very first line right here is write, dear, and then who you're writing your letter to. So I'm going to write d, d, dear, and I'm going to use a capital D because I'm starting my sentence. When we start a sentence, we use a capital letter. D, E. Do you hear an E? I hear an E. D, E, R. Okay, I hear a R. Dear. And then I know how to spell Avelina's name. So I don't even need to think about it, but you might need to think about how to spell mom or dad, or um, grandma. So write that now, pause the video, and write dear, and who your letter is to, okay? Great. Now, at the end, you notice I made this little mark here? That's called a comma. It's like a little curvy line. We always put that in a letter, and once we write who it's to on the top line, we won't write any more on that line. So if you took this whole line and a little bit of this line, that's fine. You're going to start on the next one, okay? So now, the first thing you need to do in your letter is say what you want. 
So if you, one of the things you were asking was to get a new puppy, then you would say, dear mom and dad, I would like a new puppy. If yours was that you wanted your um, mom and dad to help you find a missing toy, then you would say, dear mom and dad, I would like you to help me find my... If your problem was <clears throat> that you wanted to sleep over at your aunt's house, you could say, dear dad, I want to sleep at auntie so-and-so's house, okay? Um, if you wanted cookies for dessert, then you would say, dear mom and dad, I would like cookies for dessert. I want you to pause the video now and I want you to write what you are asking for while I write what I'm asking for, okay? Perfect. Did you pause the video and write what you want in your persuasive letter? I wrote, Dear Avelina, I would, I used my sounds to help me with this, like you to not eat so many snacks in the day. Okay? So I told her exactly what I want. You're gonna tell your person exactly what you want. Now here's where the power of writing comes in place, okay? And the teaching point today that I wanna teach you is that you can say a lot through your writing. If you take your time and use lots of details, you can say a lot through just writing, okay? So we have shared our problem and now we need to say why we want those things. So if you want a puppy, then you're gonna have to convince mom and dad that you're gonna help take care of the puppy, you're gonna clean up the puppy, you're gonna you know, um, feed the puppy, all the responsibilities that come with a puppy. And you need to write those list of things and reasons why. You don't have to write your whole letter today. In fact, how we're going to do Writer's Workshop this week is you're going to have the next three days to continue working on adding your reasons to your uh, persuasive letter, okay? And right now I'm going to kind of skip to what I want you to do on the last day. So after you've added all your reasons, the very last thing you're going to do is sign your letter. And so at the bottom of your letter, this is after you've done all your writing and added all your reasons, you're going to sign your letter by saying love and then writing your name. So I'm writing a tabellina, so mine is gonna say love mommy. After you've done, after you have written your, your problem and your reasons why and signed your letter, then, you're going to color a picture, a very good picture. And the picture needs to match what you're asking for, okay? So I'm gonna make a separate video to kind of talk about the picture, this video, and then another little video that I'll add today that will talk about how we make our picture for our writing, okay? This assignment will only need one upload and that will be your final, final persuasive letter um, at the end of the week. I'm gonna say that one more time, and I'll also write it. This assignment will only need one upload, and it'll be at the end of the week when you're all done, okay? So even though this is gonna be marked as an activity, you do not need to upload anything for this video. You can do that at the end of the week on Thursday, or if it takes you the weekend, you can upload it to Thursday's assignment, okay? Hopefully that's not too confusing. I'll write it in writing too. All right, check out the next video to figure out what you're going to do to add your picture.